All right. I am doing this on a different computer, different setup, so the sound might be different. I hope everything is still going to be okay. So looking at this, let's take a look at this. I think my main impression was the path, a little bit of camera work at the beginning. Here, definitely the path. All right, let's look at the dragon first. So one thing, just quick, it's cool to see uh, you got all your, it's a slower computer, it's gonna be tricky, but you see all those elements, which is great, but it's so far in the background that I can tell we're kind of traveling, but right through here, I'm not sure. It seems like we're just going backwards and then we're suddenly tilting down. So if that's the case, I'm not sure if you have anything else than just a translate back. If that's what you just have, then I would say it's the path on the dragon that's a bit funky. It goes up here. This is a bit sharp. How quickly this goes up. Because right now, your dragon, let me go back, this slow tool here. Uh, if you look at your path, it kind of does this and then shoots up. But you're doing this, like right now, the dragon's gonna go up while the wings are still here and your wings are gonna have to be around here-ish. So that mechanically this makes more sense. So that sudden lift in your chest and the roots, it's almost perfectly timed to that flap here. You can see how that point here in that arm is stuck in space. But only through here-ish, that section through here, that end section is when all that force comes in but also you're not going down far enough. So I will bring those wings, you know, almost here, you wanna flatten these guys a little bit. And as you go down with the wings, the tips are always dragging. You're gonna be going this way. And then only when you reverse, see how you're going down with the wings and the tips are in, uh, inside. So you wanna have your tips always drag. And now on that reversal, as you go up here, that's when your tips are gonna go in. But just as a whole, I would make this. I mean, you can make this, I would make this not as sharp. It's a bit sharp through here to kind of feather out that sudden, sudden surge up in the body. But if you leave the timing of when it happens, then you need to uh, move the wing animation earlier. So that at this point, when it goes up, your wings are already pretty far down. And then you can do this. And then this feels weird. Again, I wasn't sure if that's the camera, but as you start dropping, and you would have to bring up the hips a bit more, so you have a bit of a straighter line, because right now it's a bit broken like that. Like you want to bring in that shape like this. But what happens is that the dragon's dropping, and then here it does a bit of a weird move screen right with a bit of a broken wing. I would. I would flatten these just a bit more to have a nicer, you want your shape to be kind of like that, with a bit of a nicer wing shape like that. But it would drop more. Again, I'm, lots of tangents before going to the main point. It goes up, you know, right there. It feels like it's suddenly too slow, as if you're trying to keep the dragon in screen space. But given the, the momentum, I would say the dragon would be down here already. So to me, the drop needs to be faster. It suddenly just kind of stops. Watch out, there's a bit of a weird wiggle through here. Right there, like that path is a bit, is a bit much. I think you can go here, flap, and then it's just, then it's just gonna be a nice curve doing all of this. This feels a bit weird where you're still kind of, still doing this, but then you have a crazy S shape. I would simplify the shape to kind of follow that path a bit more. Let's go back here. Same thing here is a bit weird. So given that just kind of flaps up, hold, hold, hold as he's dropping too soon. Go hold, hold a bit more and then drop, which means you might have to add a couple frames to your shot. Then on this kind of neat, but probably it feels like the feet are too far away from us. That would be a bit straighter up. 
and see if you can simplify the shapes of the wings a bit where these fingers, I don't know if you can, you can rotate them up a bit. So you have a bit of a smaller visual shape here that way. My drawing makes no sense, but I kind of want to fill out something, you know, that's kind of this big and not this big shape here. Just for a nicer silhouette, because that just gets it, makes it a big block. If you can kind of wrap the wings around the dragon a bit more. This here too has been such a nice speed. And I'm not sure if that's the camera. Yeah, the camera just stopped, but it might be both. It might be that your tilt down of your camera stops a bit too quickly, but it just feels like visually your dragon goes down really, really fast. And in here, it slows down too much. So we're slow down there. I wonder if you're gonna have to cheat the dragon to be a, a bit slower. So even this head pops in a bit, you want your head maybe just to be kind of in here, just like half that, then here, then like, I would just give this a, a few more frames, even if it's a cheat. And what I would do will probably cheat the other guy as well. I will probably bring this guy a bit higher in frame so they're not so the same height. It might be a little cheap, but it's fine. Bring the guy a bit higher. He does his jump, but I would get him around here. Because you're doing this. It's not too bad, but it's just it just has this um almost a tangent as it follows here. It would be nice to have your guy here and then the guy's there, All right? So you have that as a clear negative space there to go through. It's just something when I was watching this and it's been a while since I had seen this, I went, oh, the dragon, wait, what is he holding? And I completely missed this guy. So what I would do is I would, again, bring him. He just seems very, very low. I would, and you have so much nice negative space here. I would bring this guy higher. He does his holy shit, jumps over, but is more on this side. Then he stops moving like the way you have it. Then I would do like a big lift, like he's uh, lifting up that rock. So you go from this shape, reverse C curve. So there's a big move so that the audience's eye really goes towards this guy. So we understand the, the handoff basically, right? From him to the other guy. So that then the dragon comes in, because he's barely moving. Right, so I'm just looking at the dragon going, oh, the dragon comes in, and I just missed what happens with that guy. So I would do that big lift, so we focus on him, slow down the drag, give him a couple more frames, even if it feels slow, but let's see how slow we can make this. So you can really get the leg stuff, because right now you have the dragon coming in, and over one frame, you have all of this. This is a huge amount of geometry, visual, visual pop coming in here so we also need to introduce that a bit slower <laughs> comes in here and worst case you might have to move the camera further away from him just take him with the camera so he's closer so that we just have more room you know if so that your uh where is your I'm gonna change something here all right, all right. Maybe this is your framing <laughs> with the world around. Uh, so this might be your framing, you know, like the big guy is still, still in this space, this big, right? But that way we see more of the dragon. There's just more to see and you can introduce things. But there's more time to introduce the, the, the his legs and stuff like that. So that might be something uh, to reconsider. Just, just parent this guy to the camera. I just move the camera away from us. Then here's a, a bit of a weird path hiccup. Just through this section here. Right there, he suddenly goes up, but then kind of stays and goes up again and goes back down. It's a bit wobbly. I'll keep this pretty clean here too. This is a, like a half, half flap something. Uh, so there are a couple of things, just visually. I think you can easily do, comes in, 
flat, flat kind of little slight path adjustments. But right now, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on in its path like that. Uh, and then again, keep keep your dragon right. If this is your uh, let's switch to where if you're let's pretend your path is something like this, right? It's gonna go crazy with colors. As the dragon flies, you know, might have the head here, neck, body, butt, tail here. You got wings, whatever. But you want your dragon shape kind of follow that path, at least as a starting point. And right now, what's happening is that you have a lot of those very complicated shapes throughout. It just makes it very wiggly, and even here. It's just an adjustment flap following that path and to have that much curvature in the chest really implies that it's such a force that he will be going phew, phew, that he's doing this. So it relax all your spine reversal and shape changes in the body here. And then then I would try to get a you know he flies over here flat and maybe a bit of a, a bigger change in its path. Because right now what's happening is that you have this and keeps going and this guy gets gets jumped away you hope you need to get this and then the dragon is kind of a path up here and then this guy goes over because of this visually it will slow it down going 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 this way so we have a bit of a visual slowdown in this so that the guy flying away is the fastest thing so the audience look at looks at the guy so the the eye is drawn to that element I think that will be my biggest note. Let's go back here. I would do that first. The foreground guy is fine. Um, you know, there might be like oh, through here a different facial expression going from what is this to holy shit, it's coming towards me. Um, but for the rest, body wise, it's okay. Imagine, just that's for later on. Imagine when he grabs that guy, this guy is gonna go, ah, ah. And because of that sudden yell, I would bring this guy's shoulders up and tighten his fingers. Like he hears the guy in mortal pain, and then that makes him cringe as well. That's for later on, but just for now, I would make mostly the path adjustments on the dragon before we do anything else. Kind of adjust the posing so it's mostly following the path and doesn't have those complex shapes. Uh, and then go from there and just work on the physics. Same thing for here, just. Make sure that, you know, hang time is okay. Even this, if you look at the dragon here, like you would think it's kind of a path like this. And right now what happens is that the dragon comes up and it immediately forces itself to go down. See, that feels a bit, almost a bit too much pivoting off of the chest through here. I think I'm gonna go a bit more screen left. And if that means that you need to um, tilt up with the dragon, pan to the left to follow the dragon, tilt down a bit sooner. You know, if you do some adjustments, then that's totally fine. If you feel like, yeah, but it's a bit of a pain, you want to keep it in this frame, then just globally move your, that's a fantastically horrible arrow, <laughs> move your dragon away from camera so it's smaller, right? So you just do like two thirds of that size. So you can do all this without changing the camera. That's also an option. All right. That's it for me. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.